Hello, my name is Jemmy, and today I am going to be giving you a brief overview on what I um in a sub project of Foodie Duty. I've been working on this uh like before, but then I decided to just finish it today. So um as you might know, I have a project called Foodie Duty, and it is basically uh uh an image classification model that can differentiate between 48 different Thai food menus and um yeah i used the knowledge that i i had from foodie duty and then i uh developed bird nerd which is kind of like foodie duty but instead of classifying thai food menus it is classifying three different types of birds uh the sparrow the tailor bird and the weaver bird so yeah today i'm going to show you how i did that uh right now so yeah first thing is uh obviously wait from an update just really quick update so um usually how i i would usually deplo deploy my um web app on my binder which is really easy to do um because it's my binder and it's made for this but then uh yeah my mentor advised me that um since my binder uh is like when you load it the good thing is that it's very easy to just upload your web app but the bad thing is that it's very hard to, um not very hard but it just takes a long time to uh deploy itself so um, not deploy, load, yeah, load, that's the right word, because my, since my uh, model is really big in size, so, um, my mentor advised me to, um, instead of using my binder, I should use, uh, Heroku, which is also another web app launcher, and, um, Heroku would stream lit, I can say, and that makes it way faster, and I did that with Foodie Duty, um, so, yeah, I already did that with Foodie Duty, and I'm planning to do that with Bird Nerd right now, uh, and I'll show you how I did that. So first off, uh, I already did some of this, but I prepared my data set. I used the same method that I used with Foodie Duty. So I, um, so I got the my image scraper scrapper from JMD. Um, I got from PyPy.org, and then I used it to get images of my three different types of birds. And after that, I cleaned through all of them. And um, my images, I couldn't get a lot of them because a lot of them were un like unusable because it was not images of the bird or either the image was not good. Um, yeah, so I cleaned throughout most of them and then I handpicked the rest from uh, Wong Nai. No, <laughs> sorry, I'm used to Wong Nai. Uh, not Wong Nai, Google or um, Bing from those two sources. Not Wong Nai because Wong Nai is a food source web and then I don't I can't get birds from there uh, so yeah I got it from Google or Bing and yeah those are my how I got my data set and then I split them into three categories like I did with foodie duty main not main uh, train test and valid so yeah I split I split them to three uh, different types uh, test had 30 train had 240 and valid had 32 so yeah, those are how that is how I uh, prepared my data set, um, like so. Then I created a GitHub repo uh, repository for Bird Nerd. Uh, I can show you it right now. Website and uh, Bird Nerd there. So it's just uh, um, a repository I created it, and then after that I just prepared my files for Bird Nerd, uh, and then I just pushed them all into uh my repository and yeah i edited the code from foodie duty to be like more adapted with bird nerd like maybe there's some file name changes the github repository changes so i have to change that and then i also had to create a new um a new pickle file which is a model um so i trained my model for bird nerd again and then i downloaded the pkl file and then yeah i pushed it into uh my bird nerd repository and here it is right there it's called bird nerd version 1.pkl like so and then the error rate was really it was actually really insanely good it was 1.1% um yeah so it was the lowest i ever gotten on foodie duty i didn't get as much but maybe it was because there was 48 different classes and this one only had 3 so yeah maybe that affected the error rate in some way but it was really good either way 1.1% um, yeah, so I pushed all of my files into GitHub, and then after that, I just, uh, I created a GitHub 
um, no, not sorry. Then I ran a strings of code in my folders, in my local folder, not in GitHub. I clicked on my folder. I will uh, show you. So here is my folder. Here it is, like so. And then I basically clicked right and then clicked git bash here. And then I just followed the few lines of code here. Git init, git remote, Heroku login. To log into Heroku, Heroku create bird nerd. Um, the important thing here is that bird nerd needs to be lowercase because if it's uppercase, it doesn't work. I learned this from experience. Uh, so yeah, it created a repository called bird nerd and then Heroku git remote at slash a bird nerd. Um, after that, I just git push Heroku main no verify. No verify is so that um, the Heroku or like the um, the launcher wouldn't like detect how big my file is because it is like pretty big. So if you put no verify, it just goes in without a problem. And yeah, that is my uh, how I created it. But now I'll actually show you it. Uh, give me a second. Um, so here is the website for uh, Bird Nerd. Um, as you can see, it's in Heroku app.com I just opened it so it was pretty fresh and um, this boom it's done R insanely quick um, let, now let's go check on my binder so that would take like five seconds right um, let's go to my binder here so I'll just go into my um, I didn't change my blog yet so I'm gonna do that but there should be a link to my binder somewhere Link to Foodie Duty here. So this one is actually from my binder. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. As you can see, it's gonna spin for more than five seconds, obviously. And we'll check. I'll sh put this on my second screen, and I'll check back on it later. But beforehand, we'll just uh, I'll show you around in uh, Heroku pr really quickly. So um, upload your files there. So it's over here. So we can browse files, and then we can take a file and put it in here. Um, let's go get some files really quickly. So let's get two images of each bird. So in total, there's going to be six images. So Sparrow, like so, get two images. And then I'm going to scroll like really far down because um, I'm pretty sure I got like half of the Google uh, database on Sparrows. Well, not half, like most of it. Uh, so what is, what is a good image? This one, and then save, image as, and then you can just save it to your downloads. I'll, I'll actually create a new folder in downloads so I won't get confused. Um, I'll just say test bird nerd, nerd, like so. And um, I'm looking on my second monitor right now, and foodie, um, foodie duty in my binder is not even done yet. Uh, let's see if we can get all our images before it's done. So let's do sparrow sparrow one okay so this is their first image and then let's get our second one um let's try a cartoon oh well well we can't actually get it done before because it's actually done so it, it took how much like three two minutes um perhaps and it's done here we go this is for foodie duty so it's quite a big file it's bigger than bird nerd however i think that um because since I already deployed Foodie Duty, it was way quicker than this, so that was not an excuse. So yeah, this is my old um, old app. As you can see, you can upload a file and then it will show. But yeah, that's Foodie Duty. We're working on Bird Nerd right now. So let's get a cartoon, as I was saying before, and let's see if a cartoon will work. So this one looks cartoonish enough. Save. And then we're going to rename this Sparrow 2. Like so. Click Save again. And now let's get... Uh, Taylor bird which is the second type of bird Taylor bird and uh, we'll scroll down okay and we'll stop right here uh, let's yeah let's get a cartoon for each one of them so this is a cartoon one okay and then click save image as and then we're gonna name this Taylor Taylor bird one enter and then we'll save another one, which is like a real one this time. Uh, which one? We'll take this one, this one. Okay. Oh gosh, this is a really big file. I mean, yeah, big resolution. So we'll take this one, save image as, 
Taylor Bird. Oh, actually, you know what? What I should do is that I should uh, create um, so that one is the real image. So like Taylor Bird one is going to be the real image, and Taylor Bird two is going to be the cartoon image. So I am going to do that right now. I am going to go into my downloads, and then go into my um, Cast Bird Nerd. Here we are, and then I'm going to just rename this. So this one will be uh, Taylor Bird two. And this one will be Taylor Bird 1. Okay, good. Like so. And now I am going to go get the last type of bird, which is the Weaver Bird. Weaver Bird. Like so. Okay, let's scroll all the way down. It's pretty easy to tell Weaver Birds apart because most of the images that they are in, um, they either have like a nest in them or they're yellow. Uh, so yeah, so this one's a pretty good image. I'll take this one. Unless I can't save it as a .jpg. No, I can. Okay, perfect. I'll rename this to Weaver Bird 1. Weaver 1. Like so. And then let's get a cartoon one. Because those seem to be very popular. Okay, that's too cartoonish. I don't think you can tell. Like a sketch of one. Or if we can't find it, we'll just search it. Uh, we can't seem to be finding it. So we'll search it, Weaver Bird Sketch, like so. Uh, sure, 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 we'll take this one. Uh, that's pretty good, but it has a watermark on it. I'm pretty sure that's fine. So we're going to save image as, and let's save this as Weaver 2, like so. Save, perfect. And then we're going to go back to our Streamlit app, and we're going to click on Browse Files. Let's go to our download. And then let's go to um, Test Bird Nerd. And here we are. Let's start off with Sparrow first. I'll copy the path just in case. Um, so let's start off with Sparrow. So click. Okay. So it will load in. And then it'll run. Um, by the way, Bird Nerd Inc. And Bird oh, that rose really fast. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Sparrow with a probability of 99.92%. As you can see, uh, it chose your image of the sparrow that I put in. And then this is a Pokemon card with sparrow. Um, I did this this morning uh, because I thought it was going to be look pretty cool if I did it as Pokemon card themed. Um, I made this all from scratch, by the way, except for the frame. Uh, yeah, so there's size 13 to 16 centimeters. And ignore the HP, by the way. That's <laughs> I just made that up. But yeah, I made it Pokemon card themed. Um, yeah, so it's a flying type, obviously, because it's a bird. And then you can see all the details about it down here, like so. And yeah. Okay, now let's get our second one, which is a cartoon version. You can see it loads pretty fast. Um, when you put it into it, it takes like five or six seconds, and then it will come out again. As you can see, it's sparrow yet again. So that means that our machine can test a cartoon. And it's actually... A uh, pretty good result too. It's one hundred percent cartoon, and I know that this is not a duplicate image because I wouldn't allow cartoons or like sketches into my uh, database. So yeah, this is not a duplicate image because I only allow real life images. So yeah, it it probably got like deleted during like the cleaning process. So now let's do Taylor Bird. Um, okay, running. This one should be pretty obvious because the Taylor birds are quite easy to tell apart from any others. There we go, Taylor. Oh no, I okay, I missed that one. So, oh uh, yeah, bird is off from there. Um, I'll actually fix this with you guys if you want. So, uh, we ran into a problem and let's go fix it. I will show you that you can fix it pretty easily. So I'll go back into my slides where I did all of it. So we'll go back in here, and then we will just go in here. Wait, yeah, in here it's perfectly fine, but in my app it is not. So I will extend this. Let's send the frame back. Order. Send to back, like so. And then we'll take Taylor Bird and we'll extend it a bit more. Okay, and we'll put the frame back up so it cuts off the edge. Order, bring to front. And let's check on a Weaver Bird. Okay, while we're at it, let's do Weaver Bird. Um, Let's see the probability, 85%. So 
it wasn't as great because this image, as you can see, even though it said it was really big resolution, to me, it looks not that great. You can see the pixels, like from there. Um, so yeah, it's it may be because it's a blurry image or not good image, but it still uh, says it's a Taylor Bird, so that's a win. Okay, now let's te test our Weaver Bird um, before we test our cartoons because I want to see if like the Weaver Bird the um, the word goes off so I can edit two um, so I don't have to waste time. Okay, let's see. And okay, it doesn't. Weaver Bird is okay, so we need to only edit with the Taylor Bird. So it's pretty easy. Click on File, then click Download. Well, this is for me. Um, click on PNG because I save it as a PNG, and then I will open my files. Um, and then I will just replace it. So in here, uh, like so. And then I will just. Oh wait, um, can I wait? Let's just try. I don't. I'm starting to doubt this a little, but, uh, we can, we can try. So like so, and then we'll just Control X, and we'll put it into Bird Card, which is where I store my stuff, and then we'll replace Taylor Bird. So we're gonna delete this, and we're going to rename this to One, like so, and then we will just um, how about in my Git. Okay, so in my git bash, it's like this, right? So it, to I think it should work, but it's no, I don't. It might not work though because uh, when I tested it like this, I tested on Streamlit, which is a local host, and um, Heroku is not a local host, so it it has a chance of not working, but we can try. So we, I will reload Heroku really quickly. Okay, but if I were to um. If I were to, uh, how do you call it, upload this again, so meaning like I uh, upload my um, Heroku one more time, uh, then it should work, but this one probably won't work, but we'll see. Like Taylor Bird, right? Okay. If it doesn't work, it's fine. I will just edit it um, like off camera, but yeah. It's running and okay. It doesn't work because uh, it wor it would work if it wasn't streamlit, which is local host and it could be edited. But in Heroku app, you probably need to deploy it again, and then it should work. But yeah. So um. Anyways, let's go test our cartoon ones. I will edit it later on. I will also leave this link to Bird Nerd down in the description because um, so you guys can go uh, try it out. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, 100% again. So I think it gets more accurate with the cartoons. I do not know why, but um, I think AI views it from differently from us, and cartoons are more accurate than pictures. Uh, because oh, I get it. Maybe because since the cartoon, right? Um, usually inside of the real life image, right? It would have uh, a lot of background, like background color or like uh. Or like how you call it background stuff that might distract the AI from the bird however in the cartoon you can see right here the background is completely white meaning the AI can concentrate on the bird more that's just a theory but um, I'm gonna like uh, assume that okay let's also um I want to uh, tell you really quickly inside this slide bar bird nerd at github you can click on the link and then it will get you to my bird nerd page and um, if you want the images, you can take, uh, you can freely use it. Anybody can use it. Uh, so like you can come in here and then you can download images or you can just like fork it or something and then download from there. So yeah, you can completely use this uh, data set, database. Uh, yeah, it's completely free to use from it to anybody. Uh, so now let's test our last bird which is the cartoon version of Weaver Bird. And this one is quite unique because it has um, a watermark. However, I think that it should work because a watermark compares nothing to a uh, background with like rocks and stuff distracting it. So it should work. There we go. Um, my image changed quite, uh, it um, delayed a bit, but it is here. Uh, so here, Weaver Bird, and then stuff like this, okay probability rate of 96 so it is not 
quite as good. I think it's because they added the watermark in. I do not know, but I'm assuming that it is because they added the watermark, and then that is why um, it doesn't work as well as the others. But yeah, that is my um, that is my bird nerd. Uh, there is uh, one error I can say is that that Taylor bird thing, the bird fell off, but it it wasn't completely my fault because uh, in Google Slides it said it was still on. But yeah, I will edit that off camera and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Okay guys, so we are going to be, um, well not going to be, but I just fixed the problem just to let you know. So basically what I had to do was I had to go into uh, Git um, from my computer. It is, I downloaded this, it's called GitHub Desktop. And then I paired, I cloned my um, GitHub repository into this and then I just uh, added a new folder in and then I just committed the file back into my GitHub right now. And then, um, so it's changed in here, right? And then like, so, no, that's not the Weaver bird, sorry. The, um, the Taylor bird, as you can see. And then it's changed. So then I went back into my um, Git Bash and then I just uh, pushed it again. And then I tested it. Um, what is that ding? I still don't know. But um, yeah, I tested it. And as you can see, it works like normal now. Not normal, but works um, like it should be working now. So yeah, I will just leave a link, as I said, um, down below. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Bye.